Okay, so here's your challenge. We're going to start off with the number 20. Okay, you are going to be dividing 20 into equal parts, effectively. Okay, but we're also going to be dividing by decimals. So the equal parts analogy doesn't really work all the time. But if we had um, 20 divided by 4, okay, that's 5. And what we're going to do is we're going to find 5 to the power of the number of parts you divided it by, 5 to the power of 4, which is 625. Okay. Um, if I divided by 5, then I would have 4. And I'm going to have 4 to the power of 5. 4 to the power of 5 is 1,024. Uh, let's say we divided by 8. 20 divided by 8 is 2.5. 2.5 to the power of 8 is approximately 1525.878906. Okay, let's try another one. Let's say, let's try 20 divided by 10.5, for example. Well, that's 1.90476 dot 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 when I actually put it in the calculator. So we're going to do 20 over 10.5 to the power of um, 10.5, sorry. Okay. Which is equal to 867.61 dot 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 dot. Okay. Now you'll notice that. Obviously, I'm getting different answers each time, but is there a largest answer? Is there a largest product um, by dividing 20 into a certain number of pieces? It can be by a decimal, okay? So 10.5, it could be 10.47, 10.46593, or whatever, okay? What number do I have to divide 20 by? and then raise it to the power of to get the largest number. That is your challenge. I would approach it uh, using a trial and improvement method. Okay, so try this before our first lesson on core three. Prizes to those people who get the highest score. Okay, the best and most accurate score.